Welcome to the Playmakers Podcast, covering everything from youth sports to national sports in and around upstate New York. Let's go! Welcome to the Playmakers Podcast. I'm Mo Jackson, your host, alongside my right-hand man, Derek Dyer. We have a very special edition. This is our final episode for the football season. We have the state champion, head coach of the Aquinas, Little Irish, Coach Derek Anacino, thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate you coming. coming out, Coach. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Now, first of all, congratulations, Coach. Thank uh, you. Job well done. You know, we, we sat back and watched the season that you had. Uh, your team was in tune with each other. Everybody bought into the system. Uh, you guys were definitely next man up because you, you know, went through some things that, you know, teams go through right. with some injuries. Right. Great coaching. Um, great coaching. But you, you pulled it out. You guys managed to, to keep it together. And, and make the ride worth it all. Right, you know what I mean? Right. So, uh, so, so congratulations there. Uh, we want to jump into the interview, get sure. to know you guys a little bit better. Uh, over at Aquinas, everybody, you know, it, it, it's like it's a big secret in the section five, right? <laughs> right? What are they doing over there? Right, so, right, right. That right. program going <laughs> and being so successful. But, you know, it, also, it always starts, you know, from, from the top. And you guys got great leadership over there, yeah. of course. And then, you know, coaching and coming and, and trickling down to the, to the players. Um, so we, you know, we, we, we notice it. Everybody, right. you know, that watches football, we notice you guys um, having a really solid program out there. And we appreciate Thank it, you. right? Yeah. Having that type of program in Section Five, Definitely. you know, giving Section Five a name, yeah. um, bringing the, the bar state, for other, right? Other. Bringing the state championship to yeah. our area. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that's it's all great, good. right? That's yeah. all all great for the area. Good stuff. So, so jumping into it um, now. You've been you've been at Aquinas for say you said, you said twenty some years, right? Twenty one right? years. Twenty one right? years. Wow. Years, now that's 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 dedication. Right. For one. <laughs> that's signs of a great program over there. They that's know how to do it. They right. know how to do it. Keep your guys in the house and and build. Right. Um, twenty one program. Twenty one years total. Two years at, at the helm. Yeah, that's right. Um, now you've been part of some really successful teams. Absolutely. Um, what what do you say would be the what was what was different about this bunch of guys that, that took you guys over the top? Um, you know this 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 group of guys. They just they worked hard. They worked hard all the time in the off season, right up through double sessions, practice, everything else. They worked hard, um, and they believed in each other, and and they really loved each other. Right, right. You know, by the end of the year, in past years, and even you know a little bit this year, but not so much. You know, they they wear on each other's yeah. patience a little bit. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. practice they get a little testy <laughs> yeah. with each other. But right. you know, right. these guys yeah. they they genuinely you know come out every day, love being together, love playing. That's what it's about. Um, it, it, exactly, that's what it's about. And you know, and they played for each other. You yeah. know, and you know, all year long you saw that kind of thing. You know, when you know you mentioned guys going down, yeah. those guys that went down, they, you know, they became great leaders when yeah. they were out. Yeah, I definitely. saw things out yeah. of Karan Robinson, yes. you know, that I didn't know that he had yes. until he was hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, from yeah. a leadership perspective, mm -hmm. from a yeah. teaching the younger kids perspective. Yeah. I mean, you know, the things that he did while he was out mm -hmm. were almost as valuable as the things that yeah. he did when he was on the yeah. field. Right? That's, that's sweet. That's sweet to hear. Yeah, and, you know, when we had a few of those guys in, that's exactly what they talked about. Exactly. The brotherhood that yep. they had, right? Yep. I think the word brotherhood came out of Kobe's mouth probably five or six times. <laughs> right, 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 so, right. I believe so, it. So, right. I believe it. Yeah. That Especially, you know, that core group of four, four dudes right there. I mean, yeah. we had a couple of core groups. You know, you get your skill guys, yeah. you got your linemen. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, <laughs> and that group of skill guys, Kobe, James Jones, yeah, and, yeah. you yeah. know, um, Karan, yeah. Damon Montgomery. Yeah. 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 You know, Manny, you know, they, they accepted right, Manny. Right. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was the young guy. You know, he was he was yeah. the little brother that yeah, got right. kind of used a little bit. Yeah. But um, we'll get the water bottle. Yeah. Right. So you know, they, they you know, they accepted him and you know, and them guys were always together and they were yeah. like brothers. Same thing with the five offensive linemen. They, yeah, right. You yeah. know, they did some they were always together, those yeah. kids. You know, and you know, when we have a defensive practice you know, the offensive linemen didn't have anything to do once we got through offensive team. Yeah. They went and sat on the bench, did nothing the rest of the day, and yeah. they just hang out together. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, right, then right. after, been scattered. after right, practice, right. they showered, and the team mom bought them all shower curtain, individualized shower curtains with their picture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, and after the game, sweet. After, nice. after, after the game, they go to Buffalo Wild Wings after yeah. every oh, game. Wow. That's you dope. know, and then, you know, they, then they brought Tyler in. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah Tyler yeah, yeah, started yeah, yeah, to go yeah. with them. Wow. Yeah, nice. wow. So, I mean, while they, you know, they had their own groups that they kind of hung out with, it was yeah. all, you know, 
yeah. skill guys, linemen, right, right, and but they yeah. were all brothers and they all fought and battled yeah. hard, and yeah. that's what helped get us through. And no. you can see yeah, it, man. Ahead. You yeah. can you can see it from the sideline. You can see it from afar. I remember watching the game. Karan was out, and it's like. Every time he had a chance to talk to Will, or every time mm -hmm. he had a chance to talk to somebody, he was talking to him, encouraging them, letting them know that, hey, I'm here for you, I'm with you. You yeah. know, I'm not on the field, but I'm with you, I got you, I'm your eyes. Um, and you can see that brotherhood. So the things you talk about behind the scenes that we don't know, mm -hmm. I believe it 100% because yeah. you can see the output, yeah. you can see the effort, yeah. you can see the togetherness while they're playing. Yeah, so yeah that's absolutely. awesome, man. That's yeah, awesome. And, and, and that's what made it so special. Right. You know, they, they, you know, they did it together. It was, it was funny because you know, when we, when we, the final clock went out on the state championship game, it was like just massive kids hugging each other. Yeah, and, yeah, and, right. I mean, you know, that's what you'd expect anywhere, but it was just like, okay, it's the culmination of everything. Right. And then right. we get back to the locker room and everybody's like, well, what are we going to do right. right. now? What are we going to do now? Next? What's so, up? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was, Fortnite it is. Yeah. <laughs> With each other. Oh, please. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, 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 you know, piggybacking off of what you talked about. Now, this is, this is a lesson for all the young football players out there. Talking about how those guys, like the linemen, they sat on the bench together. They went out to eat together. Right. They showered together. Right. Same thing with the skill guys. They, they hung out together. You tell me how one of those guys does not put his all into knowing his assignment. Right. He's no, there's no way he's going to let his brother know. You know what I mean? You're absolutely right. And, and there's a system of accountability. Exactly. There. Exactly. They're accountable to yep. each other, and that's what we try to... That's what we tried to do, right? When I got the job, um, you know, one of my assistant coaches was a was a successful businessman when mm -hmm. he was, um, you know, when he was in business. He's now retired, but he did, he gave leadership training to our captains. Nice. We had a core yeah, group nice. of twelve kids nice. that were involved in this leadership training, and then we chose our six captains out of that, and mm -hmm. they got you know training. You know, he you know everybody's probably heard of John Wooden's pyramid mm -hmm. for success. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, Vito, that's our coach's name, he had his own pyramid of success and showed it to him, broke down the, the blocks and everything. Nice. And, you know, we gave those kids leadership training. Right. And that was the first year. And then the second year, we had two of those captains returning, mm -hmm. Kobe and Nick, my son. And then, you know, but the four other captains, they got some training. And right, they, you know, right. And they followed. Right. And that's what we're going to keep doing. Um, you know, it, it teaches them how to hold each other accountable, but hold them each other accountable in the right way. Yes. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be yelling and screaming yeah. at them, yeah. you know, but, you know, say, hey, you got to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, you know, it, it's your job. Yeah. You know, poor yeah. Manny, sometimes Manny's yeah, playing yeah. free safety. If Manny got caught up a little bit, yeah. you know, James was right after him, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, like, right. you know, yo, you, yeah. bro, you got to be back there. Yeah, you right. know, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Do yeah. your job. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the psychology to it. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Psych major is, is, is more than, than than going out there yelling at a guy to do his job. Yep. Everybody responds differently, and that that part of of your team, that coach coming in there and giving them that lesson, that's not even a football lesson. That's yeah. a life. That's lesson. a life. Exactly. Lesson. That's something that those guys are going to take and, and be able to be leaders. You know, going forward in, in in the real world. I always said, you know, Derek's my little brother. He came up after me at Marshall. Derek was is one of the only people that I say is a born leader because everything he does, he's, he's a leader. He, and he learned that some, from somewhere and he's taking it through life. And mm -hmm. if you get guys built like that, you got a successful program. Yeah. There's no way, there's, there's, there's no other way to put it. Yeah, I'll and definitely then, agree with that. Yeah. So definitely that's, agree that's, with that's, that's really good to hear. And those so, guys are getting some lessons. So, you know, another teaching point to other teams. Uh, if, if the guys don't have the means to get together after football or outside of football, or, you know, after the games, Coaches, take it upon yourself to have those guys in the same facility. Whether, whether you guys take them bowling, anything, get them together, let them let them see how each other live outside of football, and then you can get a bunch of guys that are buying into each other first, and then they can go and play football together. Man, that's so, so big, man. It is. It's, it's huge. football, and especially football of any other sport, right? Definitely. Because you need you need so many p different parts to do everything perfect, Sir. just for a play to go five yards, yeah. right? Yeah. So so knowing the ins and out of a player next to you is huge. Yeah. So so those little things. That's Priceless. why you breed champions. Priceless, right? Priceless. Yeah, no question about it. Right. So, you know, and then, um, we're going to jump into the next question. You know, not not giving anything away. Uh, you know, from from you know your program, but just talk a little bit about what you expect from your your guys during the off season. You know, we we all know championships are won in the off season. Yeah. You know, in the weight room, 
uh, on the track, wherever you guys, you know, however you guys are working. But just talk a little bit about what you expect or what you demand from your team during the offseason, of course, with grades and all that kind of stuff, making sure that's taken care of. Well, yeah, well, that's first and foremost is academics. Um, you know, there's been not every year, but probably on average every other year, we'll lose a kid because he didn't pass. Yep, right. At Aquinas, you can't repeat a, a grade. Mm -hmm. So if you don't pass, you go to summer school. Right. If you don't pass it in summer school, then you can't come back to school. Mm -hmm. So you tend to lose people like that, yep. you know, through that kind of attrition. So it's important that they keep their grades right. up. Right. You know what I mean? So that's first and foremost. Um, you know, typically what we'll do is we'll take, like I told them, other than study hall, which will be starting a week after, not this, not next week, but the week after, um, other than study hall, there's no responsibilities till January 7th. Mm -hmm. We're going to come in, we're going to test them in the weight room January 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, mm -hmm. and then our off-season program starts January 7th. Mm -hmm. If we had gotten done earlier, we would still take about a month off. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We lift Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 3.45 to 5.15. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's it. We don't pick up a football till maybe March where um, we go to this um, seven on seven that the mm -hmm. Bills hold yep. yeah, in their yeah. bubble. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, we're kind of laid back with it. We'll, you know, if we're, it's on a Sunday, yeah. maybe a Wednesday before that first week, we'll get yeah. together and throw some routes, but that's it. Right. Yeah. Right. We don't, I mean, yep. we're not going there to go out and win a seven on seven. Right. Nobody cares about a seven on seven. Right. Right. We're going out there to see our kids compete. Right. right. But we also, they got to know a little bit of something about what we're doing. Right. Now that's the right. veteran kids, they already know what's what, mm -hmm. you know, but to get the younger kids involved, um, We'll do that. And then after that, it's just lifting again. We have a week of spring practice. Yeah. And then one camp over the summer. I mean, I firmly believe you could burn them out in football. Oh, yeah. yeah so, absolutely. Um, you know, if, if you're going year round like that, yeah. you could burn them out. Lifting is key. I mean, that's the one. I mean, if we mandate anything, we mandate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and with our kids, and, you know, Anthony Bianchi, our athletic director, mandates that every sports program. Um, have an in-season lifting program. Yes. Yeah. When we're in season, we lift two days a week. Wow. Yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah. Um, so when <laughs> our kids are playing other sports, which we encourage them to do. Yeah. We want our kids to be three sport kids if they can be. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Minimum two sports. You know, right. if yeah. they're not in anything, we tell them, you know, why don't you run track? Why don't you, you yeah. know, try something different. Right. right. You know, I had right. a couple of dudes that were on the bowling team. You know, but they were lifting, and, and, and at the end of the day, they're competing. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. you know, and if your kids know how to compete and they're competitive, mm -hmm. you're going to be okay no matter what. At least that's the way yeah, I feel about absolutely, it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, any way, you, any way you, you can get those competitive juices flowing, you got to do it. Right. right? And, and you said something that's key, and, and I just want to make sure everybody can hear that. Three sport athletes. Yes. Right? I mean... Take I see a lot of kids now with, with seven on seven and some of these off season programs just taking out every other sport and just at ten years old focusing just on football. Right. And and they don't understand what other muscles, what other things are getting developed in these other sports Certainly. that can apply to football. Certainly. Absolutely yeah. correct. You know, I had we had one uh, three sport kid who is a uh, football hockey nice lacrosse player. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hockey's his main sport. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. He, Yep. He's going to be graduating this year, but he's the last hockey player that played football was my brother in '94. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that, I mean, that's yeah. pretty much yep. how it goes, you know. Right. But right. you know, a lot, a lot of our, a lot of our guys, they play basketball. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of lacrosse players, you know, and all it takes is coaches working together. I know yeah. that our lacrosse coach in the spring. If our kids are playing lacrosse, they're lifting two days a week, mm -hmm. and that's fine with yep. them. Yes. As long as they're lifting, they're competing. Yep. Like you said, they're using different muscles yeah, to yeah. do different different things, mm -hmm. but competition is the key, and yep. we encourage all of our kids. Now, if they're not involved in another sport, then they better be in that way. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 You know right. what I mean? And when the seasons change, that's what happens, but yeah. we always encourage it, and I, I think it's great. It's great for a school yeah. community. I mean... We don't have a lot of kids at Aquinas. Right, so, mm -hmm. You know, our our beds number was like three thirty something. Yeah. It puts us, you know, smack dab in the middle of a class C school. Right. Yeah. So right. we have right. to share our kids. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's better for them. Yeah. 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 Certainly.
Now, I also wanted to ask you, you know, you, we talked about the players offseason program. Um, talk a little bit about what you expect from your coaches to bring to the table in the offseason and bring, bring fresh ideas or fresh things um, to next season's team. Um, basically, you know, what we, you know, we haven't got, we got to get together for our, uh, dinner yet as a coaching staff. We haven't done that yet, but, you know, and we'll talk about that in the meeting beforehand, but essentially, you know, come by the weight room and hang out. We have strength and conditioning coaches that the school pays for, for the entire, you know, all the programs in the school. Nice. And they set up workouts on this system called platform. I don't know if you heard of it. It's a yeah, great yeah. system. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, so they set up our kids workouts and they coach the kids in the weight room right. we go in the weight room and we build relationships yes. yep. and hang out yep. and yep. you know get on them about their grades yep. or yep. you know if i get a report from the dean mm -hmm. that somebody's not doing something they should be doing yep. you know we give them their consequence you know yeah. with mm -hmm. a little conditioning after yep. right things like that but for the most part you know i tell the coaches you know i'm there every day all three days we work out Tell the coaching staff if they can get there a couple days a week, that's great. You don't yeah. have to be there every day, but make sure you show up, you know, and, and it's about building relationships because, yeah. you know, if they don't like you, no, as, if your players don't like you as a coach, they're not going to want to play for you. Exactly. Right. So you have to build those relationships. You have to, you have to let the kids know that you love them and you're just not interested in them in football. Right. You're interested right. in their lives. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah. the time you get to know them in between their sets. Mm -hmm. You know, you you know, you, you shoot the bull with them a little bit. You yeah. talk, that's find it. out about their lives. You know, yeah. and Connect. what's going on. Connect, yeah. sir. You know, that's and, so and that's what you know. That's what we do. Um, you know, we'll go to the New York State Coaches Clinic in mm -hmm. February. You know, oftentimes we talk about you know getting to another clinic. We haven't done that in the last couple of years yet, but we're going to revisit that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know. All of our coaches are football junkies, right. so they're doing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, so they're you know they're watching film. Yeah. I mean, we do a lot of, of self film watching in the off season. Right. Okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. and yeah. honestly, I think I have probably the two best coordinators in the area. I mean, they're they're outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was talking to Danny Pincelli today, our offensive coordinator, and I was like, you know, Tyler. Um, had numbers similar to Jake Zembeck his sophomore year. Oh, wow. Like they were almost yeah. right on top of each other. Right, right. The right. numbers. And um, I'm like, you did a great job because, you know, I mean, Tyler wasn't even going to start until a kid quit the program. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. You know what I mean? Tyler was returning. Yeah, yeah we had a guy returning. Right. You know, we knew Tyler was great, but, right. you know, this other kid was going to get the first opportunity and this kid quit and he had Tyler ready to play in three weeks and wow. gosh, look what the kid right. did. Right. You know what I mean, and and Danny was like a, a driven person. We got shut out nine nothing in the um, state quarterfinals the year before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it shut out that shutout didn't sit too well with Danny. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, he was telling me today, you know, because I said, I go, man, I just said, I call, I texted him, I said, you did a fantastic job this year. I'm looking right. at this. I go, I just thank you for all your work. He goes. He goes, yeah, he goes, I got to admit, I was pretty driven to, <laughs> yeah, to do better than that. Yeah. You know, he goes, that didn't exactly. sit well, and it lasted yeah. for 10 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, sir. And, yeah. And, and the way, like you said, the way he helped Tyler, yeah. we watched, we watched games where he called the perfect plays at the yeah. perfect time. Yes. Right? Yes. It was just amazing, the yep. play calling, some of the throwbacks, mm -hmm. um, some, some mm -hmm. of the things, the little just intricate things that, that normal eyes wouldn't notice. Yeah. But we was picking up on how he was yep. making the game so much easier for Tyler. Yeah. And it just showed throughout the season. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's what he does. That's right. why he's yeah. the best in the area. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, we, we appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. Yeah. watching that offense, that offense play the football. <laughs> yeah, he does. You know, and, and, our, and our defensive coordinator is the same way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. he's like he's yeah. like a savant. If you see the reports he gets, you know, like, you know, Chris Battaglia, the former head coach, he's a great defensive guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, he does everything based on feel. Yeah. You know, Dave Howlett, our yeah. defensive coordinator. No, no, Battaglia is that over at. He's a Ron Decoy's defense. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that defense, yeah. that defense too. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's yeah. great. You know, Tags right. is great. David is, you know, right up there and. He doesn't do it like Tags. Tags does everything based on feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. David, I mean, he'll hand you like a, you know, a huddle report that thick yeah, on, oh on Wednesday. <laughs> He's into it. And be like, okay, this is what they're doing yes. on first down. 
75 percent of the time they're running. Yeah. I, I mean, I honestly, it's, it's, sometimes it's tough for me to read. Oh, right. yeah. it's, he's got first it's down, so broken down. He's got third and eight broken yeah. down. Third and two broken he's down. Got he's got that's that's football. That's. Yeah, he's got it broken down. He's a junkie. He spends yeah. more time watching film. I mean, we could track on Huddle how how long guys are on film. I mean, I don't know where he's finding twenty. He's finding twenty four hours on Sunday right. between Sunday and Monday. It's like, dude, when are you sleeping? Right. You still got to go to work. Right. 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 You know, he, hey, he, he's vested. He, right. He's bought into the yeah. thing. And yeah, I mean, so yep. you know, the work these guys put in, it, yeah. it's um, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. You know, and the dedication. You know, I we have a lot of guys who volunteer. They come out and do yeah, it for nothing. Yeah, wow. You know wow. what I mean? They come out and so volunteer, wow. and they coach for nothing. It, it, it's great to be around our kids. Our kids yeah. are fantastic. Yeah. So, you know, they make it fun, and we all like being around each other. But we don't really, like I said, I don't really demand a whole heck of a lot of them. When, it, when it's time to come to work, camps and everything, yeah. they come to work. And my yeah. big thing is get to the weight room if you can to build those relationships yeah, so that they will... You know they'll play for you if if you have a relationship with yeah, them, yeah. and then you know when you have to open them up a little bit, yeah, they know that you love them exactly. Yeah. But if yeah. they don't if they don't know you and you don't know them uh, and you're gonna blast a kid, yeah, he's gonna get turned off, yeah. especially in today's world. Yeah, certain, absolutely, certain, absolutely. Yeah. So you know my next question was about Aquinas, in the Aquinas Institute, but when, from what we're saying already, what we're hearing already, there's so many jewels just left. From what from what you're just saying you know things like you know go build those relationships in the weight room yeah. uh you're, you're gonna your team is off and free until you guys are going to test on january 2nd things like that is is what aquinas is about and if you're not picking up on those things play this play this video back and take <laughs> notes because he's giving you the secrets of what a championship team or how a championship team is built right like honestly right. you got coaches that come in there that love the game yeah. you got coaches that come in there that got the formula go in there build those relationships get those get those players to trust you yep. and then they'll go out and play for you right right take away the idle time they're playing playing three sports yeah you know playing Wait, three well, sports or they're in a weight mid they, right. The commitment is there. Yep. So yep. you're taking away the out of time. They got less time to get in trouble. They got less time to not do nothing. They're working. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then true. Aquinas is also demanding in the classroom. Yes. So if they're in those three sports, you've got coaches that are consistently staying on them about their grades. Yeah. You don't have to worry about these guys with their grades. So Aquinas has a, it, it comes full circle in that program, as we're seeing. Yeah. You know, we saw it on the football field. We're hearing it from the head coach here. It's full circle when you're talking about the Aquinas Institute and they're doing it the right way. So swallow your pride, copy them, and, and, and do what they're doing if right. you want to be successful. Honestly, yeah, man, for you know, real. And, and it's, not, it's not about the coaches. Yeah. It's about the kids. You know, They want to have a successful program right. so that their kids can learn lessons and they can go on and be better men right, right. and women. And, and we see as a culture, right? right. We see right. as an environment. Right. It's not one-off. It's right. not this kid yep. is it's yep. it's the team yep. and it's been like that for a yep. while and especially this year's team mm -hmm. you know just you're losing Quran second game of the season yeah what's going to happen yeah and then we see Ruben mm -hmm. we see Dante we see a freshman Will yeah. Benjamin step up yeah. I mean it was just it was it was beautiful to watch and see section five football played the right way coach the right way and kids loving it yeah. and, and kids just stepping in and doing yeah. whatever you do yeah. you know you lose Kobe in the playoffs you know, yeah. you yeah. don't like, yeah. whoa, the best receiver, yeah. to me, the best receiver in Section 5, yeah. you lose them Without in the playoffs, question. right? Yeah. You lose them yeah. in the playoffs, yeah. and boom, you, 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 it, it, it's not even nothing. Yeah. Tyler probably, I think one game, Tyler threw four passes yeah. or yeah. five passes yeah. and connected on one, yeah. and y'all won the game right. running away. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, nice. that's outstanding coaching, outstanding culture. Tyler never put his head down. Nobody ever put their head down. The receivers blocked to the whistle. Nothing stopped. Everything right. looked like it was still running the machine. And he was one for five or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, in, in all fairness to Tyler, that game was played in a monster. Oh, yeah. That win yeah. was crazy. I mean, there was, there was no way it was crazy. So, me, there was, and Mo was talk, no me and Mo talk, yeah. I, he showed more about his arm yes. strength in that game than yes. any other game to me. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. he, he throw was it. throwing <laughs> darts yeah. 40 yeah. yards in the, in the monsoon. And I mean, it was just the ball was just getting thrown around. Yeah. It was. But he was around. still throwing the ball 40 yards in the air. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. He's got a great arm. Right. And, 
You know what, the, the thing about the program, and, and we kind of stress it, is there's no one person bigger than the program. Mm -hmm. You know, not me, yes. you know, and, and this, all the coaches before me were all like this yeah. too. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's how it, it builds up. Nobody's bigger than the program, you know. Obviously, you have your star players. Well, Karan gets hurt, you know, they, they tell us, okay, he's out six weeks with surgery. All right, what are you going to do? Fold up your tents and go right, home? Right, right. right. No, still got to go. You still got to show up. Yeah. So you go and you play. And like I said, Karan exercised so much leadership yeah. during that time yeah. mm -hmm. and helped those young dudes. And you know, he knew that if we kept going, he'd be back. Yeah, right. So you know, he was he was well vested in that. Um, but that's you know, that's the kind of like you said, it's a culture. That's what we're striving to build you know no one person is is bigger or better than the program and right. so we all just i mean we've had a lot of been fortunate enough to have a lot of great players because right. you're not going to win with the rate that we win unless you have some good exactly. players Certainly. there's oh, no yeah, doubt got, about yeah, that yeah, yeah absolutely you know, and, you know i, I mean <laughs> that's all there is to it right. now can you um but one or two great players if they're not working together with everybody you're not going to win right yeah. and yeah. if you don't have your Players that maybe aren't great, but you don't make them good enough, yeah. you're still not yeah. good. Yeah. So you got to try and bring everybody up to the yeah. best level that you possibly can. Yes. And that's what we do. I mean, we coach everybody. We People would be amazed if they came to one of our practices and you know, and you watch like Coach Hollett doing defensive practice. He does a couple things that stand out, and this is no secret mm -hmm. or anything right. like that, but you know, we'll rotate in practice 18 guys through the defense. Oh, wow. You know, just rotate <laughs> linemen. I mean, that's what yeah, we yeah, do in practice. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what the next man's doing. Yeah, right. we'll rotate eighteen guys. You know, linemen are switching in every three plays. Mm -hmm. You know, linebackers switching in. Same thing in the secondary. You know what yeah, I mean? Right, right. And then you know, one thing that we you know we do defensively, and Coach Hollett brought this, and I thought it was amazing. The ball hits the ground, mm -hmm. whether it's an incomplete pass, um, a fumble, anything. The defense was running to the ball, picking it up, and going for six. Everybody's, everybody's going, yes, everybody. and if everybody's yes. not going, yep. then they're hearing about yes. it. So yep. you got eleven guys going to the ball. I mean, I think mm -hmm. we had six defensive touchdowns this year. Yes, I mean yep. that, that's that's what it was, and we had like four or five last year too. Yeah, right. You know, so that's something right there. I highly recommend that for everybody. Yeah, yeah. man. The ball, it's even if it's an incomplete pass. Right, break, right. Yeah. Go pick it up and run it the yeah. other way. Yeah. You know, yeah. offensively, Danny rotates the you know receivers through. You know, we had two or three different three wide receiver sets. Right. You know, one of them. You know, you get kids going both ways. You gotta, you know, have kids that are gonna block on running plays. Yeah, so, right. you know, yep. maybe you yep. you give a Kobe who blocks his butt off, right. but Kobe's playing both ways. So you give him a rest right. on a yeah. running play, yeah. Yeah. and yep. you put a your fifth or sixth receiver in who's still capable of catching the ball if you right. want to throw it. Right. But he, he gets in there and blocks. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. So. There's guys rotate where you rotate linemen through. I mean, you have to because you never know when somebody's going to yeah, get hurt. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And yep. that's how you build that next man up, yep. Coach. And that's how you give the kids confidence before they even step on the field. Exactly. exactly. You, yeah. you, you have to do it. I mean, I've seen, and, you know, and, and there's been years in the past where, you know, we've even been guilty of it where just, okay, you run your ones and you run your ones. Yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, you got to yeah. get people in. And yeah, you're, right. you're not doing yeah. wholesale substitutions. You're just... Yeah. Subbing yeah, guys yeah, in yeah, at a time, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and it, it works out well. Yeah, yeah. Great, great method. I, I always love, I love that drill yeah, too. I, I always. Oh, that's said, a great drill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 really yeah. Yeah. Certainly, it builds that that memory. That muscle memory. Yeah, exactly. I'm teaching them. I always say, you know, the, the most important job on a team is the backup quarterback. Your quarterback goes down, and if the next guy ain't ready, it's over. Right. You know. Right. So, so to right. me, backup quarterback is one of probably the most important job on the team. Um, but it's going going forward and moving along here. I wanted I wanted to talk about Aquinas. You know, a lot of people don't understand uh, that you you know, plainly put, you don't have to be a millionaire to send your kid to Aquinas, right? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm not. I, I, right. I'm not. I had one graduate and two there now. Right. right. So nice. so you know, just 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 talk a little bit about. You know, it, we, of course, it is a challenge. It is demanding. You know, you got to have grades to get in there, and, and you got to maintain right. your grades to stay there, like you yes. talked about a little bit earlier. Um, just talk about, you know, what what people can do, or or how uh, how it's not impossible to get your kid into a planet. Oh, I, I mean, absolutely not impossible. You know, the, first of all, you take a placement exam. Mm -hmm. um, they're offering one Saturday mm -hmm. um, for sixth grade, and then there's a seventh and a ninth grade placement exam. 
So if you're going at, those are kind of like the in, the initial points of entry, sixth right. grade, seventh grade, and ninth grade, right. junior high. Um, we just had the sixth grade added a few years ago, okay. maybe right. four years ago, mm -hmm. um, to kind of bridge the gap. Like when my daughter came, um, she was in Greece Public Schools until fifth grade, and there was nowhere for her to go in sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. So she went to Arcadia and then seventh grade at Aquinas. So now they have that sixth grade to kind of bridge nice. that gap now. Right. Um, but you take the placement exam. Um, it's not, I mean, you'd have to do really, really bad to not get in based on the placement exam. Okay. Um, and your grades, I mean, they look at the whole person, mm -hmm. you know, right. the whole thing. Um, and you get placed in there. Um, as far as you know, tuition goes. It's it's affordable um, to the extent where there's financial aid available. Right. Not for athletics, right? right. Which is right. the common misconception. Right. Um, it's, it's based. <laughs> it's, it's, it's based on your academics um, right. and your family's financial need. Right. Um, you know, I, obviously, like I said, I put three kids through there. It's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, you go outside right now. I'm driving a 2002 Buick Century. Yeah. Okay, it's 2018. Right. You do the math. You do what you got to do for the kids. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. for me, that's that's the choice I made yeah. for my family, and, and, and it's going to pay off down the road. My yeah, kids certainly. actually got money, getting money for college now. Right. Yeah. To the point where, okay, my investment in my children, in a place like Aquinas. Yep. worked out well because yeah, yeah. college is going to be cheaper for me it's yep. going to be they're going to have less loans and stuff when they're done, when they're done. Mm -hmm. right um right. you know so it, it's kind of a win-win is it a sacrifice absolutely yeah. mm -hmm. like you said i drive a 2002 buick i haven't been on vacation since 2011. Yeah. Right. um yeah. you know that's that's the lifestyle that i choose not everybody's going to do that right but for me a place like aquinas um you know, I went there, I'm a graduate, so I know what the family's all about. I know yeah. once you're in, you're gonna have people for life right. that are gonna be there to help you network. Yeah. If you need something and they find out you're an Aquinas person, yeah. then you yeah. have an advantage if they're an Aquinas person. Yeah, certainly. Yes. I mean, that's, that's just life. That's life in general. <laughs> life. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, that's the kind of place it is, you know, just, just like that. Um, you know, I. I I, I absolutely love the place. You don't spend, you know, four years of high school and then 21 years coaching. <laughs> right. 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 You know, it's some place that you don't like. You know, right. I, I absolutely right. love the place. I can't say enough about it. You know, I'm not knocking any other places, but, mm -hmm. you know, you go to a place like Aquinas, my, when, my, when my daughter wanted to go to Aquinas in seventh grade, I would have I held her off till ninth, mm -hmm. but she wanted to go in seventh grade. I said, why? She's like, well, she goes, at school, she goes, in my math class, you know, I got a kid who's always messing around, getting mm -hmm. kicked out, but yet he's back there the next day. Because right. yeah, yeah, they yeah. have to educate you. Right, right. Yep. You know, at Aquinas, you're gonna get, you know, you get, listen, they're not perfect. Right, yeah, they're but, kids. But they're kids, <laughs> right. and, but if they're consistently doing that, yeah. they're not yeah, gonna be around long. Right. Yeah. So right. your yeah. learning yeah. environment is better. Yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. you know, your distractions are kept to a minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, that's where the value of it is, I mean, you got good teachers everywhere, right? Yeah, you right. know, there's good teachers at Aquinas, there's good teachers in, in, in public school, but the overall learning environment, in my opinion, is better. And it's something that I would sacrifice my vacation, my new car for. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. And sure. you know, that's, that's the way I look at it. And it's not like it's unaffordable. They, you, you can get the financial aid based on need and academics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can, you know, do work around the school as right. a secure, you know, work in supervision. Yep. Yep. There's ways to make mm -hmm. it affordable if you really want to do it. Are you still going to have to sacrifice? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you're you're still going to pay half of it no matter what. Right. At a right. minimum of half. Right. Um, so that's, you know, kind of how it is. So it's not, un it's not unaffordable. It's not out of reach. You just have to look into it. Right. You know, and right. they have admissions director and counselors there to, mm -hmm. to, to right. do that with parents. Right. Right. Sure. Now, yeah. now <clears throat> I, I personally know some of you know, your, your, when some of your great, great athletes have left Aquinas and they all paid. <laughs> right. And their parents so work not, security. Yeah. 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 I mean, I remember yeah, no, Ernest Edwards good. playing and I remember seeing Damon and yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you got a yellow vest on. What's yeah. up? All right. Yeah. Security. I'm, and he's working the games because yeah. he sacrificed, you know, and he's seen yeah. the long run. Now you see Ernest Edwards 
He's going to be on ESPN. He's doing pretty, right? he's he's doing doing pretty, pretty good at me. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so the sacrifice beforehand can set mm -hmm. your kid up for life. And right. that's what you're talking about. You're talking about really setting them up for life, life lessons. When, you're, when people think about tuition, right, they only see the money, right? Sure. But you already dropped so many things that make requirements worth it. They have a dedicated weight, weight, weight strength and condition coordinator, right? right? In yeah. the weight room, working out with kids. Even, even before that, they have two, a, of two of them. <laughs> even before that, they have an AD that uh, demands, AD that every, demands team has every team, every team, every team, program, right? That's yeah, what, our right. cheerleaders are in there. Right. Yeah, like yeah. I, I mean, those type of things, those type of things, you don't see it everywhere. So, so yeah, you pay tuition. I see tuition as your commitment. Right, right. I yeah, see absolutely. tuition as your, as your dedication sure. to to, yeah. to to show your kid, okay, I'm setting you up for life. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you're paying less down the road in college. Right. You, yeah, I mean, no. that might not be the case for everybody, right, but for, right. me, but for you, is. yes, right. exactly. But I mean, if the kids go there and they find themselves, grade-wise even, you know, there's right. a good chance that they can get some money. Yeah, well, my, yeah, my kids aren't getting athletic scholarships. I mean, right. they're not. My kids are getting academic, you know, scholarships. Right, right, like right, that. right, right. You know what I mean? So Great investment. It, it is. Right. It, it becomes a it becomes a great investment in your children's future. And like I said it's not for everybody. Not everybody's going to do that. But that's you know the choice my wife and I made. Right. You know it's funny. I've been coaching. My wife was a went to public school. Mm -hmm. um, you know we met at the University of Rochester. She's a four oh. She's way smarter than me. That's where my kids get their. <laughs> <best. laughs> um, you know, probably the dumbest thing she did was marry me. <laughs> but at, at the end of the day, um, you know, when I you know said I want to send our kids to a client, she hadn't been hot about it. She was like, "Man, why would you spend money on an education? Right, you right, know, this right, and that." Right, right. And now, I mean, she'll be the first one to tell you she's I don't know, drank the Kool Aid, jumped, right. yeah, 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 jumped yeah. in the bandwagon, right, or whatever. Right, 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 right. You know yeah. what I mean? But she was, you know, she was absolutely like, why would you pay for an education you don't have to pay for? Right. Yeah. You know, I did fine, and she did. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. anybody can do fine. It's just you have yeah. to have the right support system yes. behind yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And for a lot of for a lot of kids, they don't have that, and. Mm -hmm. You know they, they you know they may only have one parent or in that support system was working a lot so right. you know they work harder to send their kid to aquinas but right. it, it, it's a place where they know their kid's going to be taken care of yes so. you talked a little bit about how you know the aquinas family you know you guys take care of each other and i every time i speak to a group about my journey even though it came through scholarship at syracuse i always talk about the best thing i got out of football totally was the relationships that Absolutely. I have now with my brothers. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I always give them the example. I can I can get stuck in an airport in just about any city in America and I got a brother that'll come pick me up and I stay at his house and then he takes me to the airport the next day. Right. You know what I mean? So right. just that family. You, yep. you, you, you make that investment and what you're buying into is your kid's future and their family. So who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Right, right, right. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great question. You know, these guys know that, you know, they can call me at any time and I'm going to be there for them. So, right. It was funny. Yeah. I was uh, actually, I, I don't know if you guys remember Devin Worthington. He was he, 2006. Um, it was funny because he, um, I sent him a DM through Twitter. I love Twitter, by the way. <laughs> but I, I sent him a DM through Twitter because he tweeted something about his daughter in Santa Claus. Right. Yeah. And uh, I remember, because when my son was hanging around as the water boy, mm -hmm. you know, he, you know, he was teaching my son things that right. a high school kid's gonna tell a little kid, and yeah, then right, right. he'd go home and tell my wife and get me in trouble. <laughs> so I'm like, so I, so he's telling me, you know, what he did with his daughter in Santa Claus, and I'm like. Man, I go. You can't. You've come a long way from the, <laughs> from the dude who used to. He goes. That's because of you guys, coach. You guys got yeah. me. Yeah. You know, on the straight and narrow. You know, and yeah. he's the admissions director at a prep school in Connecticut. Wow. Now. You wow. know what I mean? And yeah. you know, right. he's a, like, and he's a kid. He didn't go Division One. Right. right. He went to Hobart, and yeah. you know, on a special program, paid yeah. next to nothing. Wow. Got himself an education. Played four years. Was a captain. Was an All American. Wow. And nice. that's what made a great about. life for himself. Yeah, that's what you know, about. but I couldn't resist teasing yeah. him about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what he was saying with his daughter <laughs> after <laughs> after the trouble he used it. to get me into. You got it, got it honest. Now, yeah. now you talked about your son, right? And, and talk a little bit about winning a championship with him, right? I mean, uh, that that has to be a tremendous feeling. Yeah. Oh, it, I'll tell you what, it was outstanding because, you know, 
my son had it really tough from the moment he walked into Aquinas. Um, mm -hmm. I said, you know, this is where you want to go. I get it. I go, I'm, I'm coaching here. I go, everything you do, you're going to have to do oh, way better yeah. than everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Or, yeah. or you're going <laughs> to, or people are going to think it's been handed to you. Yep. You know, so everything you do, you got to be on the up and up. Um, and God bless him. I mean, he did it. He, mm -hmm. he never missed a weight room session. You know, even when we had time off, right. he would be in the weight room. He, I mean, he loves lifting, so it's not really that much of a stretch. Right. Right. I mean, he loves doing it, but, right. um, and he took a lot of stuff, you know, and then I got the head job and, you know, cause I was the offensive line coach and right. then he's an offensive lineman. So I moved to running back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't have to, you know, have to deal with him. Yeah. And then I, the next year I got the head coaching job and it's like, you know, I, I held him to a higher standard at times, mm -hmm. yeah. and at the end of the day, um, I was most happy for him yeah. mm -hmm. because he, you know, came up on the team as a freshman because yeah. we call JVs up, right? You know, towards the end of the year to practice with us, you know, and he's always said he got he got the 2015 ring, mm -hmm. the patch, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Right. But he always, you know, he yeah. he knew in his heart of hearts. He he's like, part of it. Right. I didn't really do much to yeah. earn it. I right. I was right. a practice dummy. Right, right. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, this it meant so much to him that, and he worked his tail off for it, and he put up with a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times I was probably unreasonable, and mm -hmm. you know, it was like you know he he did one thing at practice one day, and I went off on him. Yeah. I've never gone yeah. off on another kid. Yeah. Like that in 20 right. years, yeah. <laughs> and and I yeah. just I absolutely went off, and we went yeah. home, and you know we're sitting at dinner, and he didn't say <laughs> a word. My, my wife's like, "Is this Awkward. one of those times you guys should like go to separate rooms?" Right. He goes, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, that's it." But I'll tell you what, though, at, at the end when you know when the final clock, and he was celebrating with his kids and. You know, with his, with his with his teammates and everything, and I was looking for him, and when I saw him, and he was crying, I lost yeah, it. Yeah, that picture yeah, was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I right. lost it. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I'll go. this <laughs> yeah, right. this is great, you yeah. know. And and he deserved every yeah. bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's what I mean? Sweet. He deserved that's every bit of it, and that's that's what I was most happy yeah. for. Yeah. You know, that was an amazing moment for yeah. for the for for the cameras to catch. Oh yeah, yeah. You know that yeah. picture was yeah. that picture showed everything. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It was. Yeah. You know that picture for me it was like, man, I would, I want to have a moment like right. that with my son. Exactly. It, 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 it does. <laughs> it's it does. So it's like my my wife then, you know, three days she does the Facebook thing. Mm -hmm. Three days later or something, she posted on Facebook because it came up on her memory mm -hmm. that a picture of me and him when he was five years old, his first year as water boy, oh, wow. kind of like the same thing, walking off the field and he's holding on to my arm. Oh, wow. And it was like, you put wow. them side by side. Right, and right, right. It, yeah. You know, it was pretty yeah. cool. And that's yeah. when I was like, man, yeah. I go, now it's over. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And that's right. kind of a sobering yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did it. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a sobering <laughs> thing. Sweet. But yeah, it was really a great experience to do yeah. with him. Well, that's our... Uh, you know, we, 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 we really appreciate you coming over. What way to end our inaugural season right. at the Playmakers Podcast with the state champ head coach. You know, it's, it's we really appreciate it. You know, we've been right. we've been trying to build this thing up to where it is now and hopefully we're taking it a lot further um, next year um, and even going into some other sports right. this year. Right. But uh you know, we, we, we've had viewers and viewers on top of viewers right. more than we ever expected. Right, right. But uh, this, 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 this uh, was a great conclusion yeah, to man. our inaugural yeah. season. Yeah. 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 It was a lot of, a lot of jewels, yes. you know. Um, everybody thinks that, you know, Aquinas, there's mad scientists and, and, yeah, and yeah. there's some type of lab yeah. stirring these yeah. kids yeah. up, yeah. right? Yeah, certainly. And, and, and no, it's just like commitment, love, dedication. Yeah. That's, right? That's what that's it really comes down to, right? At the end of the day, right? that's it. And, yeah. and, and you, you kind of gave some little, little trinkets, but things that you actually applying, not just saying. Yeah. So, so thank you. Thank oh, you for coming on. Thank, thank you for sharing that knowledge. Are you kidding? Thank, thank you for, for the season. Me. I mean, yes. watching I'm, glad, you guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Man. Watching oh, you guys was amazing. Your offense, your defense. I mean, the, the commitment, the sideline. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah. just, just watching the program. We really appreciate it in Section 5. You, yeah. you bring notoriety. You bring people to Section 5. 
from around the country yes. to come yes. look at, at some of your yeah. players. So we, we thank you so yeah. much for that. Oh, like I said, you know, we appreciate the support. You know, sometimes we don't always get support from right. people outside of our community. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we try and be good ambassadors to everybody else and, yeah. you know, and, and just try and do things the right way and yeah. let everybody see that and let everybody see what a special place it is. Yeah. So it's coming on, you know, something like this where, you know, I appreciate you guys having me. This is great. And, you know, you just got to get it onto Twitter because I got to yeah. go, yeah. go, yeah. go, go, yeah. go on to Facebook. Yeah. My wife's right. Facebook account and watch it. Yeah, one, of your, one, of, your, one of your players' uh, parents said that you finally had a chance to watch him. Right. I saw him at, at, a, uh, at a camp the other day. And she said, you finally had a chance to watch it. You loved it. And then uh, I was like, wow. That's, right, that's, right. Yeah. We're, we're here. We're here. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. We made it. Like, yeah, I was going, yeah. you know, my wife, I go, let me see your Facebook. She's got it on her phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, I go, here. It's a, yeah. And I started, I, I watched, I was up till like one in the morning watching. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is, this is pretty cool. No, it's, it's, it's great that you guys are doing what you're doing. I mean, uh, I, I like I said, I hope you build it up as right. big as you want. And yeah. anything yep. I can do to help you, let me know. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Don't get it again. Yes, don't have yes. a. Uh, don't don't stay in your honeymoon too long, like my eagles. Are right. Hey, hey, and keep raising the bar, man. Yeah, Make certainly. them catch yeah. up to you. You, you have to. Make them catch up to you. You have to, man. All right. All right I appreciate Coach. it. Thank, Thank you very yes. much. Yep. Thank you. Playmakers Podcast, man. Final final episode of, of the football season. Thank yeah. you very much for everybody yeah. for watching us this season. We got good coach to say we're working. Yeah. Coach, you got to say Playmakers, Playmakers Podcast, Podcast we're, we're working. working. Just, just, just one, Play, two. Playmakers Podcast, we're working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Playmakers Podcast and stay on the lookout for future episodes. And be sure to like and follow the Playmakers Podcast on Facebook. Brought to you by Fran82Chop.